Nigeria's Vice President Yemio Sibanjo says the government will make investments in the development of digital human robots on the continent that would aid the fight against insecurity. According to the Vice President, who is represented by the Director General of NITA, the humanoids would, among other things, help to tackle insecurity issues in specialized areas. He said this in Abuja at the official availing of Omoefe, which is said to be Africa's first human robot built by Unicorn Group, a Nigerian firm. In a situation whereby most of our games, the robots, everything, they are not African. So we are very excited to see Omefe today with African looking like Africa. So this is what will help us to build our technology locally and to promote our culture and values. Because if we say we are going to use what is built somewhere, it will be difficult for us to benefit from the artificial intelligence. And also the government is working on the national data strategy, which will also help to make data available for you to innovate. Because artificial intelligence is about data. Omefe has a projected income and in the, in the, in the manner of hardware, um, we have for Africa about 50 to 60 percent to consume the Omefe hardware, and that's around 500 million dollars, the value to be attained in, in, in less than three years. And for the Omefe, the, the uh, Omefe hardware, there are customized hardware, the market values, and um, of internet users and the potential of uh, Omefe markets. So we have 19 billion dollars spent uh, that is to be spent in voice assistant markets by 2027, and about 504 million Africans use the internet uh, online in one way or the other, either by mobile banking or something, and um, 500 monthly users of language translator app. The idea behind the creation of Omefe, the first African humanoid robot, came from the belief and philosophy that we cannot continue as a nation, Nigeria or Africa, to borrow technologies that are not domesticated to this region. If we do that, we will not be able to enjoy the best of it. So it becomes the responsibility for us as responsible citizens to get into technology like this that we can fit into our use cases. If we were to use technologies or uh, robots like Amika, Amika will not be able to speak Pidgin English or speak Igbo or speak Arabic, and that defeats the purpose of using it in our climb. All right, joining us now from our Abuja studios, Chuks Ekweme, who's the CEO and chairman of the Unicorn Group. Good afternoon to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. So congratulations. Uh, how long did it take to, to build this robot? Um, actually, uh, it took us a total of two years because uh, there was the stage of ideation. We have to think what we want to achieve. Uh, and meanwhile, we've been building other solutions in technology and uh, putting it all together in one product called Omefe is, uh, is a proof of concept showing our, uh, our sophistication in uh, emerging technology because in Omefe, You've got uh, computer vision, artificial intelligence, uh, internet, of, internet of things. So it took us a total of around uh, uh, two years to achieve the complete version where we are now. But uh, I must tell you, it's worth it, and it's been quite interesting experience and as well research. Great stuff, great stuff. Uh, so how is Omoefe powered? Is, is it uh, she through electricity? Uh, well, for um, uh, Omefe is powered with battery for the moment, which we designed ourselves for her. And uh, 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 there is an ongoing research, uh, which we will likely see in uh, version two, uh, whereby she's uh, self, uh, uh, a kind of a sufficient in terms of energy. Uh, you don't even need to keep charging the batteries or, or need any other source. So the energy system will be built inside of her and uh, she would regenerate current to charge herself. So it's a research going on in the clean energy uh, 
projects we're right. doing. All right. Now, as I mean, so I understand these are still prototypes. If it if if more fair goes for sale, how much would it cost? Who would be able to use use the uh, humanoid? Okay, uh, Omefe launched, uh, we, we gave some insights uh, on her line of pro uh, products. It, it depends on the line of product we're talking about. Omefe is not just all of, in fact, the physical hardware of Omefe is just one line of product. Uh, we said today there's uh, Omefe as a service, whereby you can get to use Omefe even on your phone, depending on the use case. And we also uh, uh, hinted about the uh, voice chat. Yeah, we are very used to uh, the chat bots, you know, but now you can talk about voice bots. Uh, and we can also talk about identification as a service. So it's all about consuming the memory or using the intelligence of Omefe to carry out so many tasks and, and solve so many problems without having the physical hardware. So uh, we have given the different words, like, like uh, starting, if we're talking about the humanoid, uh, starting from uh, uh, $30,000. So what we have today uh, is uh, a multi-purpose and assistance, so to show her robustness and she's very intelligent. But there will be use case scenarios, like for example, the automobile industry, the bank, so designed to tell her to the, the military as well, the security agents, there's a lot they can reap from uh, Omefe in terms of intelligence gathering, robo army, you know, and uh, for example, uh, anti-vandalism, you know, our pipelines and some uh, key uh, infrastructure can be guided uh, without human life just going down, down the way for that. So uh, use case scenario will be coming also. Uh, and then accessibility to use of technology, because we know one of the uh, limitations is the communication. So now maybe having narrowed down communication to native African languages, you can assess uh, even Pidgin English, even different dialects, and she keep integrating more languages and keep learning. So it, it, it's a whole uh, lot of uh, um, um, good news for Nigerians, and it's really a breakthrough. So we'll see more trending on Omefe in terms of the benefit to everybody. Literally, every, everybody we, in one way or the other have a need to use Omefe. First off, so um, I guess timeline. So the software, I mean, you've explained that very well as far as that being available now. Uh, the humanoid itself, do you plan to mass produce anytime soon? Is there a timeline for that? Yes, uh, actually the essence of the launch uh, is to launch uh, the commercialization. So uh, this is a formal and official launch of Mayfair for commercialization. We've started getting interest, uh, 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 inter intents uh, from uh, different uh, uh, clients. So uh, for commercial uh, quantity of production of Mayfair. So, but, but we've given, uh, uh, starting from uh, before the end of first quarter, we'll start seeing some of our Mayfair product line uh, rolling out. And uh, we gave by uh, quarter two, end of quarter two, we should be looking at having a robo army and uh, some other uh, customized commercial Mayfair. So uh, for sure, the plan is already underway. So that is the stage we are right now. We've, we've achieved the algorithms, we've achieved the concepts, we've achieved the results we want. So now it's all about scaling up and partnering with investors and uh, 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 people that want to collaborate with us. And governments have told us that they are really backing it up 100%. And uh, different, like even the military also, and so many others to come. So it's a win-win for us. Indeed. And so speaking North of Africa. Indeed. Speaking of production, very quickly, um, Moife was built here in Nigeria, yes, or overseas? What, what, what was the production assembly? Correct. And, okay. Yeah, Omefe is 100% local content. And that is in line with uh, the executive order, uh, I think three and five or so, uh, for local content. So, so this is a good news for Africa because we, 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 we've been getting some uh, Af other African countries calling in, can we include our Omefe is supposed to be Africa? Can we include them? So, so local content. And, and if you see our attire is, is, is 
promoting Africa culture and heritage, and that is our our aim. You know, the native uh, uh, vocabularies and all of that. So our culture will not be lost in technology. And Omefe going in Metaverse is also another big step which we will still uh, make an official launch for. She's available in Metaverse and with Africa uh, uh, attire. So we'll see more of this technology escalating to emerging technologies. So we are not going to be left behind. Great stuff. Congratulations again, Chuks Ekweme, uh, CEO, Chairman, Unicorn Group. Uh, thank you so much for joining us to talk about the, the new humanoid, first, first of its kind.